Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Bumper here. Uh, good day today. Finally got my vinegar syndrome haul. Happy day. So I had a track on it for a while. They kept saying, come in today, then we change to tomorrow, to tomorrow. So thankfully FedEx got a year before the weekend because it did say come in Monday at one point on the app. I wasn't very happy, but um, hey ho, it's here. So can't afford it. So just quickly before we jump into it, I'll switch over to my unboxing table now to um, show you all the stuff I got. But uh, just to say, it's the first time I bought from Vinegar Syndrome in this quantity. I didn't realise about their um, Black Friday and halfway to Black Friday sale where everything is 50% apart from the brand newest titles. So I'll always be a haul behind I'll always just buy the 50% off ones. But you know, um, you spend over 150 and you do get free delivery. So can't fault it, even though it does take six weeks. But um, yeah, so I'm really happy to have it. I've got to be fair. This came up past 10 this morning. It's now half six in the afternoon. I haven't been able to do my video on it because my wife's been working where I do my unboxing. So I don't know what's worse, the six week wait or the like the seven hours or whatever. I've had to just stare at this box on my living room floor, not being able to open it because uh, you know I don't want to unpack everything before the video. I did open it to see if all the films were in it because I ordered 12 titles and it didn't feel that heavy to be honest. So I wanted to make sure. But anyway, I'm waffling now. So um, yeah, let's jump into the... Uh, Vinegar Syndrome Hall. Okay then, so here we go. Here's the box. So inside... So there's three lots. One, right. Let's do one at a time. Okay. You might have a nightmare to start. Okay, so first movie I bought was Body Melt. So this is an Australian movie. I'd never heard of it, but when I had a little read of the back and stuff, it sort of reminded me of Brain Dead, Dead Alive, whatever you want to call it, from Peter Jackson. This is the one that I'm kind of thinking about whether I should have bought it because I didn't realise it was eight on 88 films. It got an HMV with a slip cover. Obviously, I haven't got a slip cover, but I did pay about £6 less than what it's going for. So, yeah, it's got amazing artwork, so I can't wait to tuck into that bad boy, Body Melt. Now, this one is a movie I've had on my radar for a while. It's called Don't Panic. Now, it's famous for these weird-ass pyjamas that this kid wears in it. Um, I know like people wear, wear them to conven conventions and things. Um, it's like a Nightmare on Elm Street rip-off. The director... Um, I'll have to have a look what his name is in a minute. Uh, Rub Ruben Galindo Jr. So he's like this um, Mexican, I think, or South American, definitely, director. He's done a couple of good horror films. Cemetery of Terror. Don't panic, this one. I can't think what the other one's called. But anyway, like I said, it's supposed to be a bit of a Nightmare on Elm Street ripoff. So, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. Don't panic. And then I had to buy this one because I read the synopsis and it's a better cat inside a cat going around killing people so this is called the uninvited i love the artwork i didn't want to get too many things without slip covers I, one of my sort of um, rules for not trying to spend too much money was to only get stuff that had the slips but some of these movies i hear people talking about them saying they were really good so yeah i did grab them so these are a couple without the slips this is the third one then the uninvited so yeah it looks really cool i think it's um yeah it is set aboard a ship i can see it on the thing now all right then so this next one's got a slip uh, this is another Blu-ray. It's got uh, Christopher Walken in it. I've heard things about this movie, um, but never really been able to see it. It's called All American Murder. It's supposed to have some really good murder set pieces in it. It's got a lovely slip cover there. You can see um, some gross imagery. Let's take him out. So it's really thick, this slip cover. I've got to be fair, I've never felt them this thick in my life. Um, so yeah, that's really cool. All American Murder. So yeah, I'm looking forward to watching that one. It's supposed to be a really good thriller. 
All right, then this next movie is a movie that's eluded me for so long. I probably found out about it about six, seven years ago, even though it's really old. Should have had a short run of it, but it was in America and I couldn't get it. Um, every time I tried to sort of download it or anything like that, the subtitles never worked. So I just thought I was destined to never see this movie. And then <laughs> Minica Syndrome bought it on 4K. So I finally got it. This is... Deadly Games, Dial Code, Santa Claus. So this is an old French movie from the 80s. Um, a bit like Home Alone about this boy. Um, he was defending himself against this, um, well, killer Santa Claus, I suppose. Um, yeah, I've heard it's really, really good. But like I said, I've never had the chance to see it. So I didn't let not having a slip cover put me off because I know it was originally with a lovely slip. But um, no, I still have to get it. Remember, these are all 50% off mine. So this probably only cost me about 13 quid without the slip. So I can't complain at all. Then the next one is a 4K. I did get a slip on this one. Again, the slips are really thick. I don't know what they make them out of. This is Ebola syndrome, okay? So this looks like an extreme Asian horror, which is right up my street. I actually, when I bought it, I got it confused with another film. I thought it was Evil Dead Trap 2, the film I was thinking of, but it's not. So I don't know how extreme this one is, but um, either way. So this is a nice 4K. So it must be a tidy film, I suppose, if they put it on 4K. Well, to a certain extent, anyway. Some screenshots and stuff. Yeah, so that's another one then. Obviously, I'm looking forward to watching that one as well. So that's the 4K Ebola syndrome. All right then, so that's um, six films down and one pack down. So then we pull out this one. So I have to excuse me for about 10 hours again while I get a shrink wrap off. Or the bubble wrap, I should say. Okay then, so this first one is a 4K of a 90s um, creature feature, Ticks. I remember seeing this, I think Seth, Seth Green's in it. Um, I haven't seen it for years though, absolutely amazing packaging. So we've got a side loading slip, hard case, really hard. Nice imagery on the back as well, look at that bad boy. So yeah, absolutely amazing slip. And then you've got the old school image there that you remember so it's another slip so it's a slip in a slip again super thick and there's your 4k it's supposed to be a wicked transfer on this master chaos was bigging this one up so i'm sure it must be great so yeah i'm really going to be stuck to which one to watch first tonight i gotta be honest but um this that looks amazing as well they just look beautiful on the shelf these two i can see why um they are as expensive as they are they are the best label i think vinegar syndrome or maybe severin but um not the best label, I don't suppose, because Arrow were really good as well, aren't they? But um, for going over the top with the packaging, like, absolutely awesome. Then there's another 4K then. So this is the horror comedy from the 80s, Dead Heat. Okay. Another super thick slip. Great artwork. Fantastic artwork on the back. Can't keep a good cop dead. And then we got the 4K then, so Treat Williams and Joe Piscopo, if that's how you say it. So yeah, good comedy horror. Again, it's got rave reviews about the transfer and stuff. So really looking forward to tucking into it again. Like I said earlier, 50% off. So, you know, only paying away £13 for this, really. Um, yeah, just can't kind of fold it at all. Dead heat. Now, this is a good one. This is a box set. The artwork's amazing. So this is called televised terror volume one so this is a collection of three films horror films that were shown on tv in the 90s where they've like really rare to get your hands on so the artwork is sensational the back with all the pink writing phenomenal so the films you've got are calendar calendar girl murders child in the night and are you in the house so i know for a fact that sharon stone's in one of them because i read that when i was looking into it i think she's in calendar calendar girl murders so yeah, amazing packaging. I can't wait to get stuck in this. This has got like a top loading box. Please stand by, awesome. And then inside then, does that guy's tight? That really comes out though, I guess. Right, good job I stopped when I did there, because actually this part of the box don't come out and I would have ended up pulling it all out. So these are the three Blu-rays. And I wasn't expecting it to have um, these nice cases with it as well. I thought they might have been in a cardboard sleeve or something. So that's Child in the Night. I'm just trying to have a nose on the back, see if anyone's famous in here. I don't recognise any other names. Darren McGavin. Oh, that's Kolchak. Happy days. I can't wait to watch that one then. Child in the Night. 
And then this is um, the Calendar Girl Murders. Look at the artwork on now, all the pinks, the neon pinks for that cool 80s feel. This is the one with um, Sharon Stone, yeah, and Tom Skerritt. So again, a movie I never heard of, never seen, but um, to have it in this sort of boutique fashion, it's kind of fun. Yeah, this probably looks the best, actually, for the sort of movies I'm into anyway. You are in the house alone. Wicked old school artwork on that one. I'm not sure if I recognise anyone in it, to be honest. Oh, Dennis Quaid. Oh, so there we are then. There he is, actually, in the one screen grab. So, yeah, Are You Alone in the House? So, three movies there. Blu-rays. Let's have a look if it says about any remaster on the back of eight. Um, you know, if it's 2K or whatever. Yeah, 2K. 2K and 2K. Restore from 35mm. And then we just house them back in there then. There we go, put the lid on. Absolutely wicked. Um, I, I'm sort of guessing at these prices a little bit, um, but I know I didn't pay too much for this in the end really, so maybe 20, 25, so yeah, spot on. All right, then we're on to the last package then. Three movies in here. Okay, so first one is a Blu-ray, so I'll get that one out the way first. This is a film um, I picked up on recommendation. Apparently, Quentin Tarantino took influence from this for Death Proof. This is Shallow Grave. This looks amazing. Um, 70s exploitation, you know, lots of violence, lots of boobs. Um, it's like a like, crazy sheriff. I don't know if these group of girls witness some sort of crime he does or something. And he's going chasing them then around um, the state. It's supposed to be pretty violent. So yeah, see, I don't know much more about it other than other people said it was really good. So, and they had the slip cover, so I jumped it in with the slip in this sale because by the time the next sale comes around, I doubt they'll have the slip. So yeah, absolutely awesome. The artwork's great. I love it. Shallow Grave. Okay, um, one before the last one then. This is a film from my childhood. I haven't seen it in ages. Can't believe it's got a 4K, I've got to be honest. I thought the box was better than this, so maybe there's stuff inside. Um, but anyway... Beastmaster, check this out, 4K. Look at the artwork on that. Absolutely sensational, look at that. What a film. What a film. Wicked slip. Wicked cover art underneath as well, different to the slip, always like that. I tell you what, I'm going to bang this one open quickly if I can, because I'm wondering if there is any um, extras inside, because like I said, when it was post shown on the website, it did look like there was a bit more to it than just a slip. Maybe I missed out on a limited edition one, I don't know for sure, but... No, there's only the discs in there then. Oh, three discs though, happy days. So yeah, maybe I missed out on some sort of limited edition, I don't know, but it just looks wicked anyway, I'm just super glad to have it. What a film, like I said, Beastmaster. And the last one then, I don't really know about the quality of this film, but you can't turn it down with the packaging, it just feels amazing, just holding it in my hand. Paul Morrissey's Frankenstein, so we've got like all the stitches embossed on the front and on the side and on the back, so it's really cool. And then it just slides out, and then like again, you've got a slip inside a slip, different artwork everywhere you look as well. I want to check this out, really good, absolutely awesome. Looks like there's a replacement disc there, I don't know if they had some sort of Replacement disc program or what, but um, that's just loose in the packaging. And then there's another movie then, and look at the artwork on that one. Wicked. Look at that. Just different versions of the film, I guess. Oh, this is the 3D one, that's it. Oh, of course, yeah, I remember that when I was reading it, it comes with the 3D. There's supposed to be 3D glasses, I think, then, in here somewhere. Maybe they're inside the pack. Should we have a quick look? Sorry, I'm always ill prepared. There they go. Whoosh. Check them out. Collector's item, if nothing else. Two pairs as well. Can't fault them. That is so cool. Use them on Friday the 13th, part three as well. Absolutely amazing. I'm really pleased with this set. Reversible covers as well. 
on it. I would show it off in a bit more detail, but I'm just so desperate to start tucking into the easel. I just, <laughs> I can't, I'm chomping at the bit. So yeah, we'll just slide that all back in. What I would say is I missed out on the Thriller box set. I know that was the most popular. I didn't see it selling out, but um, yeah, I'll just have to get the standard 4K on the next sale. Um, Cloak and Dagger is one that's on my shopping list for next time. I'll be better prepared next time because I know more about the films now after researching it all out. But um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the video. That's all my Vinegar Syndrome titles. If you want to uh, comment below, if you want any, um, you know, if you want to know about the films after I've seen them or whatever to see if they're any good, then yeah, just give me a shake. But um, all right, I've been Bumba. Thanks a lot.